here's the deal with the Freedom Caucus. I don't think they're actually in charge. I think Mike Pence is in charge. Why do I think that? Because I watched Donald Trump's press conference, not the one with the best ratings. Gosh, I was really cheering for him. At about five o'clock, I was like, gosh, I hope Donald Trump gets some really good ratings on this press conference. And then um, what happened is uh, I, I found out that I was on a different, I was in a different, different time zone. So I completely missed that one. Wait. Which one am I talking about? I'm talking about the one where Donald Trump is asked, why didn't you quarantine Florida? And then Donald Trump says, let's let Mike Pence talk. But I guess that's because Mike Pence is in charge of, is he that in charge? That he's deciding who if, if Florida's quarantined? Because um, you would want to blame Trump for it because Trump has properties there and all that crap. But in reality, Trump is going, why are we not qu quarantining Florida, Trump? And, and and then okay okay I, I'm I'm just I'm really confused here. Is Mike Pence the president? And if so, I think you need to say it. So if you use the Twenty Fifth Amendment, you need to say it. Because if there's anything I've ever seen, it's it's Donald Trump acting like Mike Pence is in charge. Oh, easy question. Trump was killing it. Trump was having the best press conference of his life. And and he did. Have, have the best press conference, but when he got asked a hard question that would have been an executive decision type question, um, he passed it to Mike Pence. And that's why I think Mike Pence is in charge. And um, it seems like the Tibbs case, the Supreme Court case about drugs was coming out of Indiana. The question was, can the government seize your property illegally? And then... Um, hold it indefinitely basically without actually um, um, without actually proving that the property had anything to do with drugs like if you're a drug dealer can they take everything you own um, which a lot of the time that would mean if you're a drug user can the government take everything you own because drug users sell drugs that's how drugs work you use them you sell them because oh you're my friend sure and, and if you want to be friends with people then you definitely would want to sell them if not you're a jerk and that's kind of how the drug world works. So, um, and then the Surgeon General's from Indiana. But the thing is, I never thought Mike Pence was in charge of the blackmail. I thought that that was, I thought maybe John Kelly was involved and maybe Jim Mattis, but I don't know. Uh, but I do know that Jim Mattis is like the greatest hero in the history of the United States. But then he was on the board of Theranos. But like, it sure seems like he's treated like the biggest hero. And I think that's because he actually is a war hero. And um, I think that sometimes war heroes do bad things because they're Carol Baskin. Um, but our, but that, that's actually like, I know I, 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 I talk crap about crystals for, for protecting you from the coronavirus because I don't believe that stuff. Um, but does that mean I don't like crystals? I do like crystals, which is, a, is, a, is completely a side thing. I, I love crystals because they're from the earth. It's exactly what Christine, which by the way, best episode of um, Bright Bright Minds Yet, gay history. That was freaking awesome. Like seriously, awesome. 